Hey everyone, Paula Aponte here with eXp Real Estate and I'm going to talk to you guys today about how you can get your home sold safely even during our world pandemic, so stay tuned. Okay, so for buyers and sellers, I have a no contact process in place. But before I begin, if you haven't already done so, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading more information and that's relevant to you and I don't want you to miss out. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And at the end of this video, if you like what you've heard, definitely give it a thumbs up, okay? All right, so on to the information. So the no contact process for sellers, I'm gonna begin with six easy steps, okay? So first of all, we have a listing presentation and I have it via a blog. So you'll see me referring to my computer screen because that's where I have it all typed out. But I do have it for you as well on my website in the blog. You can go to www.paulaaponte at exprealty.com to see exactly the information that I'm referring to here in this video. So the first step is the listing presentation. I have a digital listing presentation that I can send to you via email that you could watch. So that would be the first step. And the second step would be for us to set up that meeting, which normally would be face to face. But this time what I would be doing is setting up a Zoom call. And if you are not familiar with Zoom or you've never heard of Zoom, don't worry about it because I have a step by step process to how to use Zoom and it's super easy. But the good news is that if you have a different video platform such as FaceTime or Skype that you are more comfortable with, I am more than happy to use that as well. But Zoom allows me to share my screen with you so that when we get into some other information, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm looking at. Um, the next step would be for us to go ahead and go over the listing price, which that's where sharing my screen would come in handy. But I will also email you at, a few comparables, which comparables are basically information that I use to come up with the right price for your house. And once we come up with the right price for your house that you feel comfortable with getting it sold for, the next step is going to be photographs. Photographs, uh, usually I hire a professional photographer to come into your house to take pictures, um, but during this uh, coronavirus, you may not feel comfortable having a photographer come. If you don't, that's quite all right. I can have you take pictures. Um, you know, iPhones, Android phones, they all have great cameras these days. I'm actually using an iPhone right now for this video, so you can see the quality is pretty good. So you'll be able to take some pretty good pictures with your phone. I will guide you through it, give you some tips on, on how to do it. You know, lighting examples, ceiling fans, making sure they're turned off, decluttering, all that good stuff. So no worries there. Um, you can email me those photographs and while you're going through your house, I would also have you take video and I'm going to tell you why next. So the next step is for showings. Showings, normally we have obviously a buyer's agent come into your house. They have the clients with them, the buyers, and they come and they take a tour. What I would prefer to do just to minimize uh, those that are going through your house, I would prefer to have a buyer's video walkthrough presentation created. So I would use that video that you took and do the editing and create a professional buyer's um, video walkthrough presentation that I would send to buyer's agents. So I would ask those buyer's agents to send that video to their clients first and if their clients still love the house, you know, with everything they see on the video, I would just check for proof of funds and check to see that they are pre-approved first, just to make sure they are serious buyers. And then I would go ahead and schedule that showing, which that showing, I would make sure that I was there so that I could have, you know, my sanitizing station, which includes my gloves, my wipes, um, my hand sanitizer, everything, just to make sure that everything is clean, anything that, any surface that's touched is wiped down and taken care of. Um, so hopefully that wouldn't be many times and um, you know, those that video would definitely be something I think would be helpful. 
And the last step really is the offer. So once we have an offer put on the house, all of the paperwork can essentially be done, um, you know, digitally. Uh, that's really how it actually always is, even before this uh, coronavirus has started. Um, once the offer is accepted and then to closing, there are a couple of pieces in the middle, which one involves an inspector. So the buyer does have a right for a home inspection and I have a home inspector that would come to the house, but the only difference is I would make sure that I am there with the um, sanitizing station. I would let the buyer's agent know that I would be at the um, inspection just for that purpose. Normally the seller agent is not there, just the buyer's agent is, but I would wanna be there just to make sure that any surfaces that are touched are cleaned and taken care of. And then after that, there is the appraisal process as well. And the government does have a new thing with the appraisals that where desk appraisals can be done, which involves not going into the house at all, as well as just doing an external appraisal, which involves just seeing the outside of the house and the neighborhood. And they would use those comps that are similar to the ones that I shared with you, if not the same ones. And they would use that information to determine the correct value of the house. So, um, the last step is the closing and really the closing is something that can be done remotely. So you don't have to leave your house and go to a title company. We can have the closing agent come to you and that would be called a remote closing. And, um, you know, we would make sure that we maintain that six feet of social distancing. You don't have to have a bunch of people in your house. I don't even need to be there if you didn't want to want me there. You know, it would just be literally one person just to, that that would be the only face to face meeting that would have to occur um, ultimately. But as you can see, for selling your house, um, there are lots of safety precautions that we can put in place. So for the buyer side, if you are looking to buy a house, the steps are similar. I have six steps. And the first step is the buyer presentation video, which is something again that I can email to you directly. And then once I do that, I would also set up a Zoom call. And again, same thing, if uh, you're not familiar with Zoom, I will send you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up. It's super easy. But if you have another platform that you're more comfortable with, that is absolutely fine as well. So the next step is going to be your buying power. What is your buying power to buy, to buy a home, right? That's something that we definitely need to know that's important. We don't wanna be looking at homes that are $500,000 if really your buying power is $300,000. So, or vice versa, if you can buy more and that's what you would prefer, then we would wanna know that information. So we wanna know what your buying power is and we also wanna have that information on hand. So we wanna make sure that you are a serious buyer and that we can provide to the sellers that information. Um, I Once we come up with the list of homes that you would like to see, I would then go ahead and um, schedule showings. I would ask first the seller's agent if they also have a buyer's video walkthrough or if they would like to create one so that I can send that to you. But what I could do is I can go to the home and I can do either a live video feed via like a FaceTime or a Skype or a Zoom session. Um, I can record it and send it to you however you want. And really this process or this step of the game is not a new process because those who are buying from out of state, I've done this before for. So um, definitely not new at all. Folks do it all the time. Um, if you decided you wanted to see the house um, inside and we want to schedule that appointment before you put an offer in, or if you wanted to put an offer in contingent on seeing the house, we can do something like that as well. But I can schedule that showing for you and you know with the buyer's agent or listing agent, excuse me, and I would have of course my sanitizing station with me, gloves, hand sanitizer, wipes to make sure that all surfaces are clean for respect to the seller. Make sure that you and I are keeping that six feet of social distancing. And um, if this house is something that you love and you wanna put an offer in, then um, the next step is going to be the contract, which again, that's done all the time digitally. So 
not a big deal. We've, we, this is how we operate business. Um, I would go ahead and send you the contract. We would submit the offer and really essentially other than the closing, which again could be remotely for you as well. Um, there's really no other face to face contact or no reason that we cannot maintain six feet of social distancing. So, you know, we would have our final walkthrough. And again, I mean, I could open the door, have you go inside. I can step outside. We don't have to even be in the house together, you know, at any point. Um, so if you are looking to buy or sell real estate and you would like to do so safely during this time, definitely give me a call. I will help you out. Um, I do have all of my bases covered and I have a plan in place. So contact me directly, 863-286-0822. And if you'd like to see um, this um, information, you know, kind of laid out in written form, go to my blog on my website, which is www dot paula aponte at exprealty.com and i will put that link below for you so hope you guys stay safe out there um definitely respect everyone's uh six feet of social distancing don't crowd people and you know just give some space right all right talk to you guys later have a great one Bye bye